We are now trying this again with a group of girls who are wearing clothes. Um, they work much better this way. They are also wielding weapons, which means they can use their skills. You cannot even use most of your skills in this game if you are not wielding a weapon. At least the offensive skills. So, the nice part about the garbage battle I had last time is that I learned a lot about how this boss works. Um, I still don't know what Perfect Maid does. Possibly nothing. Did that do zero damage? Okay. Um, among other things, I now have Mug with Marissa. That's great. Um... Got Master Spark, I won't complain about that. I'm gonna try to steal. Um, but the main thing this boss, Hina, does is inflict AoE status effects. So I am going to use Reimu's Rain Dance, which has a 20% chance every round of casting Asuna on my party. That is like the counter to this boss, basically. It works really well that you are forced to have Reimu in your party for this battle, um, because if she were in the other party, this would just be extremely difficult. If you got everybody confused, you would not have a good day. Pain flow is still unpleasant. Okay. The whole... My attacks are replaced with Mug, but the enemy absorbs the elemental attacks thing is really stupid. Like, basically, your normal attacks should never get absorbed by any enemy ever in any video game. The whole point of normal attacks is that they're a fallback when other stuff you do doesn't work. Your fallbacks for emergency cases should never, ever be reversed and heal the enemy instead of hurting it. I don't think I've hurt this boss once yet. Every attack I do miss... It, bounce no boss... Bounce does zero damage. That's not okay. The only thing I've done that's hurt it was Enigmatic Pearl. This is just a non-elemental physical attack. Why would that not work? What about Magic Star Sword? That does zero damage also. What the hell? I can't not use Mug, I need to steal. It just heals the boss every turn though. What the fuck? Every weapon in this game needs to be changed to be non-elemental. That's my opinion. And whatever is causing this to do zero damage needs to stop happening. Sakuya's attacks should not all be worthless. Like, what in the world? Um, pretty sure Misfortune's Wheel just does nothing. Um, she used it 
like a good 50 times in my previous unarmed battle, and every single time it just did nothing. Like, in theory, according to the creator, it's supposed to reduce my speed by 20, but like, I don't think so. I didn't seem to be going any slower. And it should have also been reducing my normal attack damage by about 5, and which is a joke, by the way. Um, but because I was doing 8 damage with my normal attacks, I feel like I would have noticed that if it were really happening. I guess Sakuya doesn't have anything else she can do, so I might as well attack myself with Perfect Maid. I don't know what it does. Stole a faith. Okay. Got my faith. Which is a remedy, I think. Right? Yeah, it's a remedy. Just attack. Okay. That's still terrible, but at least it's more than zero. something weird about that animation, like there was a black section at the top of the screen when she used that. Render, render, Master Spark. Die. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You are running out of MP. You're just gonna defend. I'm running out of P's. Or B's. I need to find a beehive to refill. So this boss hasn't used her signature status effects against me even once. Am I twice as fast as this boss? I guess Saki is good for one thing, and that's being obscenely fast. Like, if only she could do something on her turns when she got her turns. I think being fast and being able to do nothing on your turns is actually even more annoying than being slow and being able to do nothing on your turns. Hope isn't on screen. She didn't even get out of my pocket for that one. It's nothing to worry about. Don't tell her it's nothing to worry about. Tell her... Yeah, tell her... Uh, you were being controlled. Like, maybe that's pertinent information, and she might care about that. Did she just join my team? Okay. Well, I need to head back to the save point and use a tent. And also save, because I don't want to do that again. already had to do it twice. A third time would make me a little angry. I don't really expect to die coming up here, um, but you never know, because I died on this mountain several times with the other team.
really wonder is where Hina went. Because she said she would offer to help me, but n nothing really happened. And... Like, if she joined my team, then that's fine. That's great. I'll take it. But... She didn't say she joined my team, she just said she would help me. So, like, I wonder if she's gonna show up later as a shopkeeper or something. I really don't want to fight those dolls, either. Okay. Onward. Oh, now we've got random battles again. Um, this battle kicked my butt with two characters in my team. Now I have three characters and Sakuya on my team, so maybe I'll do better. Sakuya obviously does not count as a character until she becomes able to do damage. As long as her skills do zero damage, I am not counting her as a character. Even her normal attacks do zero now. Okay. I'll take the ten. Thanks. Oh, it's immune to wind. Of course, because this is a dungeon where one of my two party members is wind elemental. So obviously, the strongest enemy in the area would be immune to all of Aya's damage when I come through here the first time. There you are. Oh, I could have just walked across the bridge. You put another save point here? Was this save point here before? I can't even tell who these are for now. That's for Aya. Um, oh yeah, I definitely want Graceful Scroll Level 2. I don't think I could get that earlier in the game. That would have been really nice here, where all of the enemies are immune to wind, so she couldn't do non-elemental damage. Get this for Aya, and this for Aya, and I don't know... These do. I don't know if I have opening scroll level 2 or not. I might. I don't have pelting 3. I do have gale level 2. 200 is how much that does. Um, all of this other stuff I have no idea. I don't even know who these are for. Wait. Narrow... Is that for Marissa? Does she have a narrow ability? Narrow spark. Yeah, it is already level 2 now. Okay. I probably have most of this other stuff. Also, it would have been really nice if um, Hina just gave me some stuff instead of charging me money for it. Like, she's claiming she's here to help me, but not being super helpful.
So once I get to a place where the skill scrolls are separated by character, I'll go through them in more detail and figure out which ones I do and don't already have. Um, for right now, um, one of my characters uh, got some new spells and... I would really love some new spells for Sakaya, but they're gonna go from being 150 power and zero damage to 250 power and zero damage. It's not gonna make a huge difference, I don't think. How about this one? Okay, it does zero damage to them, too. Is this ability just bugged? Every enemy on this mountain can't be immune to physical damage. These things are just like little fairies, so it doesn't even make sense. They should be vulnerable to physical damage. They're wearing dresses. They don't have any armor. Mm, I'll kill it. Oh yeah, and in my entire 17 middle minute battle with Hina, I never found a single P on the battlefield. So something's up with that. Like does that just not work during boss fights? I don't actually know where I'm going. Am I going to the mountain's foot or like, I'm only out here because some precognizant idiot is imagining that there's a... Wait, what? That was wholly elemental. This enemy is a ghost. It should be weak against that. Are pixelated enemies immune to physical damage? Oh, of course, yeah. That's gonna heal. Why would it not heal you? That's immune to wind also? Oh my gosh. Why are so enemies, many enemies on this mountain immune to wind? Wait, I thought this was physical, but it doesn't say it's physical. It just says holy. So this is untyped holy damage that ghosts are immune to? What the fuck? What about this? Does this hurt? No, that, that does no damage. You're immune to non-elemental magic. I don't understand why a ghost would be immune to magic. Ghosts are immune to physical attacks. That makes a lot of sense. Um, because swords pass through them. This one's the opposite. Physical damage did, like, triple effect, and magic passed through it. That's the opposite of how ghosts work. I don't understand this game. Will we meet yet? I've never met you. What do you mean it was too easy to get here? It was too easy for Parsi to get here? There was... She just walked here on the overland. There was nothing in her way.
What do you mean a diversion? She's sitting in one place. That's the exact opposite of a diversion. If you know she's a diversion, you can just turn around and walk away and leave. Remu, no nothing... Nobody called you here as a diversion. You chose of your own free will to come investigate this place where absolutely nothing was happening. And you found someone sitting around twiddling their thumbs, and you attacked them. That is literally the opposite of a diversion. Why is Reimu cursing all of a sudden? At Sine of all people. Like, this is a kidnapping victim that you just rescued. that? Was that like the mind control happening? Did I just see it in person for the first time? Now I'm fighting... Sine. Okay. Like, I didn't even intend to start this event, I was trying to walk past it to the save point. And one of the tiles I stepped on, despite being still across from the bridge from the boss, um, just went ahead and started the event. So I don't have any MP. Oh well. Oh! Her attacks hurt something. I'm so happy. Um... This is like another Shrine Maiden, right? I have a feeling that Holy is not going to be a good choice. Let's try Shadow. Yeah, that worked well. Let's do some Blink. Let's see if Bounce No Bounce actually does damage. No, it does zero damage. What was I thinking? Grand Stardust is what we want if we can get it to work. Reduce magic resist. That is the good stuff right there. So once again, I'd like to point out that this enemy has no armor on. Um, she's not even wearing full sleeves. She's wearing a cloth dress. There is absolutely no reason for her to be immune to physical damage. Things that could be immune to physical damage include incorporeal beings and enemies with extremely tough armor. Things that could be immune to magic include specialized mages that have gotten themselves magic immunity. Um, you just can't do anything. You can do 50 damage with your normal attacks. Okay. Well, this boss doesn't seem to actually have very many hit points, so I'm just gonna go all in with Master Spark. Instead of worrying about lowering her resists. Why does that miss? Every time I use that skill, it misses. 
I just have terrible luck. So I thought this boss was going to be like a healing boss. It was going to spend all its time healing itself. Like, she's... a healer, right? So far, all she does is normal attacks and one offensive spell. I didn't even have to use the thing on her this time. Um, Hope didn't have to attack her or anything. She just got better as soon as I hit her on the head. Okay. Um, oh, there's two spaces after the word need in that text box. Oh, thanks. She's a healer after all, apparently. Why didn't I attack Parsi first? Um, she's just floating in midair, I guess. Or uh, sitting on the ground, alluringly. I'm not sure what's going on with that pose. Do you take physical damage? No! Why? Why? What's going on here? What is wrong with this game? Is Sakuya just bugged, or is every enemy in this game immune to physical damage? What the hell? Oh my gosh! Okay, use your Asuna thing. I wish I could just attack my own characters to remove Berserk. Confusion, whatever it is. Let's save a little MP. Oh my gosh. That spell just doesn't hit. What does Perfect Maid do? Does it do anything? I, I don't know what it does. Like, I get it, this has a, a lower hit rate than normal. It's 85% instead of 95%, but... Mm. Okay, it hit that time. It's not bugged. It's just... I have bad luck, apparently. Marissa's Master Spark is only about 25%, 30% stronger than that tiny laser spell, um, but it costs five times as much MP. So, yeah, Narrow Spark, that's the one. So this seems like the, her main spell to use. Um, Illusion Laser is just worse, 
Um, the only time you would use it is if the enemy's weak to thunder. I can't tell any sort of logic as to which enemies are weak to which elements in this game. Um, but since most characters only have one element, I, it's not too hard to figure out by accident, I guess. Um, you use a character's only attack element, and sometimes it's absorbed, and sometimes it does double damage. So, like, I figured out that the frogs on this mountain are weak to thunder, just because that was Lomiji's only attack. I keep accidentally choosing Sakuya's attack command, uh, her spell command, in, instead of her attack command, in vain hopes that a new spell will have appeared that actually does something and works. So far, that has yet to pay off. It's just instinctive. I just choose her spell command every time... Um, out of instinct, because normal attacks are worthless in this game. So that rain dance of Ramus, it doesn't Asuna your party immediately. It does it like kind of gradually over several rounds. Um, I guess there's actually a chance, since it's only a 20% chance each round, that there's a chance that Patchouli could go the entire 10 rounds without getting healed. Oh, that's interesting. I just found out which of her skills uh, is, fi is physical. Uh, this fantasy orb is apparently not physical, um, like I thought it was. This one is magic, this one's physical, fantasy orb apparently is also magic, even though it doesn't say that there. Because now that she's silenced, she can't use it. I love that drop kick. That's so funny to me. These characters are a little bit close together. I can't actually tell who that silence is affecting. I'm also, like, is that on Reimu? Like, she's got a, a second silence thing on her, so... Hmm. Yeah, I guess it was just... they were both on Reimu, the big Japanese character and the little icon were for the same person. That's... Hmm. Just the icon would be plenty. Especially since the big Japanese character A is in Japanese, I don't know what that means. And B looks stupid because it has JPEG artifacts around the side, and C looks stupid because it makes Reimu about 50% smaller. I kinda wish I had brought an AoE healer on this party. The good news, if you can call it that, is since Sakuya is so useless, um, she can use items every round and I don't ever feel like it's a waste of a turn.
तक है You're out of here. Okay, bye. Um, this team needs a tent, apparently. And next time, we will do this team's scenario. Um, not sure if it's any longer or shorter, but... Uh, we've done enough for this episode.